Paper a piece, no questions asked. Oh, <coughs> it smells like fly spray. It's a fiver. Where'd you get it from? Robber's dog. But don't ask me no more because I can't say. You up to your usual tricks, what? are you, Lizzie? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Chalmers. I can smell super glue. Oh, well, that'll be my new perfume. It drives men wild. I hate to disappoint you, though. You're not my type. <laughs> <laughs> you two in the office now. Rest of you back to work and get that stuff off the shop floor. Uh, sounds like a bit of show on the drama. Sometimes he's so mastified, I just can't quite contain myself. <laughs> Have a professional. Right, Jenny, I need you to book a flight to Cologne, leaving tonight. Babe, you never said anything about going away. I'm not, you are. You know that lead that Dawson put us on to? Well, I want you to follow it up. Are you serious? Are you up to it? What do you think? Oh, I can't make a glow. Because I can't spare him for that long. What do you mean, that long? Well, that's the bad news. I need you to see some other clients while you're there. You know, do a bit of digging. How long are we talking? Dunno. How long's a piece of string? Two? Maybe three weeks? Babe, seriously, I can't leave Noah for that long. No, Noah won't even know you've gone. He'll be looked after, I promise you. So I'm going away to Hungary, Hungary! Germany! Germany! <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, I need you to book me a first class flight. <laughs> yeah, fat chance. Babe, seriously, I need to arrive looking gorgeous. No, not that gorgeous, no. <gasps> Oi, where are you going? Late lunch. You've already eat. I can't read. Get the biggest cream cake you've got into my mouth now. No, Jenny, no. Back away from the bones. I mean it. Well, you don't need it. Yes, I do. Why? Because Charity, our sales manager, is going to Germany. Well, that's her bad luck. No, it's my bad luck. Because no matter how hard I work up there, I might as well be invisible. It's like I'm not even there half the time and even when... Are you listening to me, Mum? <laughs> it's not you again. Would you be an angel and service me with that? Uh... Two of your finest cakes. I have a picky customer. I want to impress. Well, you're in luck. We've nearly sold out. Mm. No, <laughs> Mum, I want even those. Shh. What's the damage? No, it's all right. We don't need chuck them anyway. You're an angel. You know that? Be over later. Angel. To um, help. Look at him. He's such a... I don't know. You're crazy about him. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're only jealous because I gave him the last cakes. I did it for your own good. Right, Jenny, have you booked me a cab? Yes, my lady. OK, and a nice five-star hotel in a nice part of town. No, I'm afraid they were all fully booked, so I've had to put you in the red light just <gasps> That sounds like fun. Promise me you're going to behave yourself. I want no emergency phone calls, no angry client. Please stop that. Either you trust me to do this or you don't. Of course I do. You're my secret weapon. Come here. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, baby. I can actually see that, thank you. Can I go home now before I'm sick? Yes, go on. Oh, I'll, I'll feed the thing, Jen. And I will be phoning in to check up on this one. Well, it's a shame that I'm a PA and not a private detective. It's only half six. Yeah, an hour and a half over what I'm paid. So get out of the way, or I will kick you in the shins. Charity's going to Cologne. Tonight. Huh? Ah, and uh, Jenny's... Fuming. Yeah. But what can you do? She'll be fine, just when I'm bringing home the bacon. OK, I'm going to go and say bye to Noah. Now, mm -hmm. listen, please don't forget to pick Noah up from Lisa's because he will ring Childline. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 She is way too confident. Yeah, and that's why we're sending her. Well, it best be worth me getting in the neck for it. Of course it will be. Charity is good at a business. You know, and Jenny's... Jenny's... good at paperwork. Ladies, welcome. Now, first things first, where's the wine? We haven't even started yet. Nicola's showing Megan around the house. Megan? Oh, bad luck, Katie. Mm-hmm. I've moved back in. Since when? Why? Hey, come on, look, later. We've slapped a shift. Mm, we'll just have to get rid of Carl and then everything will be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, you two. 
Give Megan some space to have some food. Right, drinks. Yeah, over here, Nick, thank you. You'll be half a cup by the time we finish. Mm, that's a plan. Oh, getting hammered on a school night. I'm impressed. Mm. Yeah, medicinal love, that's my skill. <laughs> <laughs> More like anaesthetic. Yeah, right, come on now, enough chatting. Lots of spending to do. Right, we've got lip gloss, foundation, <laughs> eyeshadows. Yeah, we've got that, uh, that stuff that brings colour to your cheeks when you look dog rough. Whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blusher. How come we got to do makeup parties? I never know. <laughs> Was this like tea tarty? No, it's gorgeous. Yeah, that'll be a fiver. Mm. Declan likes tarty. More than the boring girl next door look, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Prickly witch. Are they having a laugh? <clears throat> Sounds right up Megan Street. <sighs> Why we should go and see. Oh, no, no, Jenny. No, it drains all your colour. You're more of a plum. Why do mums always make you feel so great? I want to be honest. Mm. Oh, I'm glad you came. Yeah, I will be when this kicks in. Now, how much is this one? Oh, a tenner lot. You're buying concealer? What have you got to conceal? Have you seen your face? Yeah, but she does work outside. Give it five years, she'll have a complexion like salami. <laughs> 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 We're only jealous, love. Yeah, of course we are. Hey, I know what you're doing. All this makeup is to impress Eric, isn't it? I'm just having a bit of fun. Yeah, but the fun is good, mate. But if he likes you so much, why is he so keen to keep you his dirty little secret? I am not dirty. Well, exactly. How I'm proud, though, is he? And he's not a homosexual. Oh. Look, it's harmless, Jenny. It suits us. We're just two lonely people enjoying it. I don't want to know. Just don't come running to me when he breaks your heart. Going to Eric's? Maybe. I just don't want him to be using you more. Maybe I'm using him. Well, you're not the type, so you can stop pretending. All right. I do like him a bit. A lot, I know. There's no fool like an old fool, oh, eh? Mum. <laughs> but he hasn't promised me anything, and we've both agreed it's just a bit of fun. Don't you think you're worth more than me and Eric Pollard's bed buddy? Hmm. It does sound very sleazy when you put it like that. I just want you to value yourself. If you don't, who will? 